So I always get asked this question, Claudio, um, I've got this struggle and challenge in around when I get my debit credit statement at the end of each month. And I'm having a battle of getting motivated, getting inspired. But every time I look at it, I get this like feeling of like, I'm just like frustrated. I'm spinning my wheels. Will I ever get into some form of credit or get ahead? I suppose I get it. I understand it. I was a debit credit agent about 23 years ago because that was the going thing at the time before the day I decided to take that leap of faith and jump into becoming a commission only agent. And I suppose if you're that debit credit agent right now and you're saying to me, how do I get off that treadmill? How do I get off the mouse wheel, which is keeps going around and around and I feel like I'm getting ahead? No, I'm not. Am I getting a commission check this month or I'm not? I suppose the biggest thing you've got to start thinking about right now for yourself is this, is number one, when you're feeling that level and you're looking at that debit credit statement, just take it like, number one, just honor it, right? Don't go in denial about it, like just honor it. Honor your feelings and say it's okay, number one. The second thing is that debit credit that's staring at your face, it's there to serve you. It's telling you to like, there's one day you've got to get off this debit credit train and get into the train where you're making money and you're getting commission checks landing into your bank account each week, each day, each month, whatever it's going to look like for you, right? So number one is just honor, honor your feelings, what you're feeling right now, be okay with it. Number two, it's there to serve me. That's what you got to think. It's here to serve me. There's a reason I'm going through this. But number three, how am I going to change that state of feeling, you know, frustrated, you know, angry sometimes, feeling like I'm not moving ahead? I would actually say to you is, you got to do something that's going to default into something else, something that allowed me and helped me to get off from that debit credit and move into commission only. So I set some goals. And if I remember correctly at this time, I think it was like, if I did 24 sales in that year, when I first started out in real estate, I thought, you know, that, that wouldn't be able to help me to, you know, make enough money to be on commission only. So what I did the mind is a powerful place if you allow things to be visual. So I put on, on next to my wall like 24 deals, right, for that financial year that I needed to do. 24, 23, 22, 21. I just kept counting it down, counting it down. And all I just decided to do was every time I got my debit credit statement and I looked at it and it made me feel yucky, I would look at that and go, come on, got to get down. I've got you know, six months down to get to like another 10 deals and then another, you know, six deals and then another three deals. And then I would find myself getting before I knew it into a place where I felt a level of freedom because all this heaviness that was coming around me was just getting to that level. That's something that could inspire me to move from where I am to where I wanted to go. So you've got to think for yourself right now is what is the default that you do if you're in this debit credit situation? Number one, how do you want to feel when you receive the statement? Are you honoring it? Are you thinking of it's here to serve you? Number th two or three, like whatever that number is, is what are you going to do about it to change that state? Because that state of feeling heavy, angry, frustrated, feeling like your wheels are spinning, what are you going to do to change it, to change that state, to make you feel like, okay, this is what I'm going to do to get myself inspired into action, right? Because moods follow action. How am I going to change that mood from a yucky mood to an inspired move.